Hey guys, it's me Corey, and I actually found a little extra time today to uh, make another video. And uh, today, what I want to do is I want to teach you guys the basics of GUIs and how they work and all that stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into start a GUI and uh, hmm, go to screen GUI. You require a screen GUI no matter what, and uh, if you don't have a GUI, if you just put in like a normal, uh, let's say, uh, text label, it won't show up on your screen. So you need a screen GUI to uh, find your screen, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, start our GUI is the GUIs you originally start with when you enter the game. So, in this GUI, we're going to make a button where if you press it, you die. Not in real life. I'm, I'm just joking. I'm just... I'm, I, I'm going to shut up now. Anyway, we're going to name this text button Reset. And, uh... Huh. We are going to make the background color 3 black. And then text color white. And then text stroke color red. And point five. You can do this however you want. Anyway, I'm gonna do text scaled and text wrap because that makes it around the size of uh. It equates the size of the uh. I'm just gonna say button. And uh, there are some things about the button that are weird. These are uh, pixel inches, I guess. But basically, what they are is uh, make this zero, make this point one. These are by pixels. Like if you add two hundred pixels here, two thousand, it'll go down vertically. Blah blah blah. Anyway, no one. Not nah, I'm just gonna get rid of you. Whereas these brackets. This one right here, and, uh, one minute, please, uh, this one right here are multipliers of your screen, so you can just do this, and it will be 0.2 or 5% of all players' screens. That's right. Instead of it being pixel-inched where, like, things go off your screen in that direction or that direction or that direction, this uh, puts it right here. So now we're going to scroll it down a bit and put it a little bit off to the side, I guess. So, once again, not used to the pixel inches, we are going down through relative multipliers. I think you can go all the way down to this much. Yeah. You can only go down to this much if you uh, go down any further like this. Doesn't really work. Doesn't really work that way. Uh, but we're gonna have that, and uh, the text is going to be reset, and uh, we're going to insert a script. And uh, let's see, script parent. Oh yeah, by the way, it is important that this is a text button and not like a text label. Or a uh, image button, or whatever they're called. I think it's an image button. What is it? Um, I don't know. Uh, anyway, we're going to do a function. It's called script.parrot, and then colon... What is it again? Man, I haven't done this in forever. Mouse, but one down. Ah. What was it? Oh yeah, dot mouse button one down. And then we're gonna connect it. Function. And uh, basically what this is, is you're going to connect 
the button being pressed with the mouse button one, which is the left mouse button. And you you're gonna connect it to this function and then it's going to be in this bracket. So anything in between this is when your left mouse button is clicked. I'm gonna do local char equals script dot parent. Another thing I wanna keep in mind is you see script dot parent and then dot parent dot parent <coughs> so we have three parents but there's no player there what's going on uh... essentially what i mean is i'm just gonna rename this to player because we don't want this yet uh... script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent means that what's inside the player i'm just gonna show you right here uh, I'm a player, and this is the player GUI, GUI, reset, and all that stuff. And you see the script here, script.parent.parent.parent.parent, and that's the player. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go to the script again and type local care equals player character. Essentially, what this is is uh, if the yeah, I don't know how to describe it to you. It's just the player's character, you know, the one that's able to walk around. Uh, and what we're going to do is we are going to make that char dot humanoid dot max health because there's no way around this equals zero so now I have a humanoid and then the max health is going to plummet to zero if I did this correctly and I did it correctly you see the max health is at zero uh, and that's essentially how they work I guess Another really cool thing is there is, let's see, scrolling frames which you can put and you can scroll on these. But uh, I think that's it for this video. Uh, leave a like if you'd like to and uh, comment what was the best about this video, what was the worst. And uh, I'll try to make it better. And um, subscribe so it gives me a reason to make these videos. So, uh, bye.